Hey, what's up everybody? It's Phil with Struggle Bus Outdoors. Uh, Weston and I, we do a lot of hunting and fishing and, and we try a lot of gear, but we've found that we like uh, Airbully Stocks packs. Um, they work really well. A lot of parts interchange in and out, uh, especially with the F1 frame that we like. Um, and Weston's gonna show you uh, a bunch of different ways to set up your pack for different hunts, whether it be a day hunt or a multiple day hunt. Hey guys, it's Weston with Struggle Bus. I want to start this video by saying I'm not a professional. I'm just a fat kid from Idaho that likes to hunt. Uh, I try to be as comfortable as I can so that I can stay on the mountain longer. And I've gone through a bunch of different packs and what I've landed with or what I've ended up with is the Everly Stock F1 mainframe. Uh, this one happens to be in Ranger Green uh, I like it because uh, you can set it up like a day pack uh, with these bat wings. Uh, plenty of videos out there about the bat wings, but it's a system that works well for me. I'm the kind of guy that if there's space in my pack, I'm going to fill it, and then I've got to carry it, and then I'm wore out at the end of the day, and I didn't use anything in that pack. So I like the fact that the bat wings limit me to the, the bare essentials. I can get some water, I can get my gloves, my kill kit, uh, stuff a, a puffy jacket down in there. Uh, I can run my rifle down in between the bat wings. Uh, so if, if you're in the dark and you're getting to your hunting spot right in the, you know, early in the morning or you're coming down off the mountain, you can fold your rifle and dump it down in there and that keeps you know a lot of length so it's not sticking above your head it's easy to hike you can get out of there um, but if you've got a kill kit your snacks some water uh, and your optics you can pretty much hunt all day or at least i can uh, set up that way and you're not carrying around a bunch of extra weight uh, but because of the frame and because of the you know, the different ways you can set up this pack, you could kill, you know, a mule deer, an elk, a mountain lion, what have you, and come off the mountain heavy loaded. You can come off the mountain with a whole quarter, or um, I've done an entire mule deer in, in one go, you know, just boning it out and, and bringing it out. Now, Everly Stocks tested this pack to like 700 pounds, which there's not a person that I know that could actually carry that. So the packs, it can do anything you can do. Um, I'm not real comfortable with more than 100 pounds in my pack, but I've done it. Um, and you know, if you're if you're deep down in a hell hole and you only want to make one trip, you might just be boning out that mule deer and coming out of that black bear. Uh, of course, you can't do that with a with an elk, but uh, for the western hunts that I do. Uh, the F1 mainframe is a really good pack, um, and the, the bat wings are about perfect uh, for that. Now, I've got a, a big hunt coming up, uh, something I've been dreaming about for, gosh, near 20 years, uh, a brown bear hunt in Alaska. So, of course, I'm going to bring what I know, uh, what works for me. I'm not going to go on a hunt like that with uh, something new. But the bat wings just aren't enough for for Alaska, so we're looking at a couple options. I uh, I've looked for a couple of these items that we're going to show you today. Uh, looked for videos on them, and there's just not much out there. Uh, so I wanted to put something together and just let people see what uh, what we're trying out. So the the first item is what Everly Stock calls uh, they're multi-lit. So, uh, just show you this. They've got a couple straps on it. Uh, some, some moly. They've got some, uh, very small organization pockets. That looks like it's for keys. Uh, there's another one here on the side that's got some room in it. Uh, it goes all the way down into the, into the bag. So some organization, um, here on the side velcro and then it's got a hip belt so you could actually run this as its own pack i probably will never do that but you've got the option 
Uh, it does not come with these carabiners, uh, but that's what I'm going to use to attach this uh, to the top of the pack. So that's, that's something that I haven't seen a whole lot of reviews on or views of and something I'm gonna be using just to add some capacity. Uh, I can fit my kill kit inside of here and open up some capacity in my bat wings. Um, I can fit my, uh, my binoculars in, in the top of this. So if I wanted to, to run them inside there, and that's probably what I'll do to carry them on. Uh, so just add some versatility to, to the kit. Um, the F1 mainframe has got some loops tied in right here, so I'm just going to end up clipping that right on. Those carabiners don't weigh anything. Uh, at least they don't weigh any more than I couldn't lose. Uh, so that just makes it pretty versatile, flips on, flips off. It'll be there, it can just hang there and do everything that I need it to do. So uh, that's, that's the first part. Uh, the next is their dry bag. This is a, a 4,000 cubic inch dry bag. Uh, of course, they don't make the name easy to say. It's the J2DB. Uh, say that 10 times fast. Uh, but the nice thing about this dry bag is it's a roll top. So you roll that. Get this tag out of the way. So you can roll that top. Roll it down just like any other roll top bag and then snap it closed and you're weatherproof. The other nice thing about this specific bag is it zips into your mainframe. So pop this off. Now, one thing it does make you do is it makes you zip, uh, it makes you zip your bat wings off. So if you're gonna run this dry bag, which adds 4,000 cubic inches, uh, you're gonna have to zip your bat wings off and then use the straps to retain them. But that's not a big deal. It gets you a lot more room. So if you're gonna pack in a day camp or a spike camp, uh, this would be a really good bag for that. So I'm not gonna zip this in right now. Uh, we'll get to the next bag and show you what we're trying there. So the, the next bag, is the spike duffel, the super spike duffel. And I've not been able to find any reviews on this. And honestly, this is my first time opening it up, uh, but that will be nice. I'll be taking that with me for sure. Uh, that's what they ship it in. Let's move this. So the Super Spike Duffel is a duffel bag. It comes with uh, comes with this strap. Honestly, I won't be using that. It looks like it's very nice quality though. Uh, it's got a padded shoulder on it, uh, but I probably will not be using that. That's just a little extra weight that I don't need to carry. So this one also zips into the F1 frame. So that is the main reason I bought it, it zips in. And then it has this really nice horseshoe shaped zipper. And then it's got some organization stuff in the sides here. Nothing fancy, uh, but so it just gives you some extra cubic inches. If I remember right, this is 3,300 cubic inches. And you just have everything there available to you. So my plan with this is to put at least one change of clothing uh, in this and have my bat wings on and use this as my carry-on to Alaska. Uh, based on everything I've read, I'll be able to fit at least that in here and all of those things that they'll let me take on a carry-on. It'll zip in. It gives me some room behind the zipper. So between here and the frame, there's gonna be some room that I'll be able to stuff a couple jackets and all that and be able to have that as my carry-on. So give me a second here and we'll zip this in. Let's keep it rolling. So 
So the bat wings are really zip, easy to zip on and off. Uh, it's a pretty intuitive system. I've I've had people who have not run the bags before um, ask, you know, why why does the zipper go so far beyond there? And the first time you try to do this with actual gear inside your pack, you'll see why, because it makes everything so much easier to get lined up. Sorry guys, I gotta roll this to me. So you can see it zips on right there, but you still have access to these buckles, and that's how you're end up going to end up with the uh, bat wings at that point. What's nice about the spike duffel that, or the super spike duffel that no one talks about, at least I couldn't find, is the corner in this zipper, and I'll show you here in a second. So you can see that the zipper turns a corner. It's got that extra tail, but it turns the corner right there. And everything, in, all the weight in your pack or in the Super Spike duffel is now resting on the mainframe. None of the other bags do that. Uh, even the newer style bags leave some room in between here. And that, you know, that'd be nice if you're trying to stack a tent in there or your sleep system, you could get it in there and tie it directly to the frame. Uh, but that's not what I'm trying to do with this system. What I'm trying to do is keep a carry-on sized bag uh, put together and still be able to get what I need. Now you can see pretty easy, it adds a lot of capacity there. Uh, so I'm pretty excited about that. That looks like it's gonna do exactly what I need it to. And then, let's see, I think it's inside this one. We got our straps. Nope, must be the other one. Yeah. So these are the extension straps that come with the F1 mainframe. And I won't make you guys watch me struggle through this. Uh, but basically what you do with these bat wings is they've got moly on the back, some moly webbing, and you're just going to run the buckle through that moly webbing. Same thing on this side. Run it down through the opposite direction. Well, I'll be dipped. I couldn't do that again in a hundred tries. All right, then you're just gonna buckle it on the other side. You do that with all three and then you're just gonna be able to lay those together and have some compression across your, across your pack. The other way to do this would be to zip a bat wing into the frame and then zip the frame, or sorry, zip the spike duffel into the bat wing. Uh, what that's going to do is create a pocket inside between the frame and the super spike duffel which would be just fine. You're just gonna extend the pack up four inches. And then you could run your dry bag down the bottom of that or down the middle of that and just put more clothing or, or what have you in there. Uh, so that might be how I end up running this. It is nice to have everything zipped together, um, but this will certainly work uh, running the, the compression straps the way that it is. So it just, to me, it shows the versatility of this the F1 frame and what you can do with it. Um, again, I'm the kind of guy that doesn't want to add 
a whole lot of capacity to my bag because I'll fill it and then I have to carry it. And then when you kill something, you've got to add that weight to it. Um, but for, for what I'm trying to do on this trip of just getting all of my gear to Alaska and not pay to check three bags, this is going to work really well. And I'm, I'm excited to have the super spike duffel and the, and the dry bag. Uh, this is more, uh, of an organization piece for me, uh, something that I can put some special gear inside of there and know exactly where it's at. Uh, first aid kit, kill kit, and my uh, GPS communicator will probably just be right here. Um, exactly, you know, right where I need it to be and right where I know where it is. Uh, so yeah, very, very cool, exciting to see. Uh, the Super Spike Duffel, it's been around a while and I couldn't find any reviews on it. I'll give you guys a heads up after my trip, but just seeing it in person, uh, quality, seeing it zip in there like that. There is some space behind it, which is good. I think what I'll end up doing is uh, zipping the bat wings to the frame and to the super spike, and then running the, uh, the dry bag behind. So I'm gonna go ahead and set that up and we'll get you guys back. All right, guys, we got our zip backed together. So what we've got now is the bat wing zipped to the side, the super spike duffel zipped to that on both sides. Now it creates a little bit more room than I anticipated down the center. Uh, but I think it's going to work just fine because we get to take the, uh, the dry bag and we'll run that down in the middle and that's going to work just fine. So I'm going to just take everything and tidy it up. Roll everything together. Take my compression straps. I mean, they give you a ton of strap there, so plenty. So even with everything in there, so that's the the bat wings, the super spike duffel, and the dry bag. You can get this down. Get this down to a pretty tight pack size uh, with, with if you don't have a bunch of gear in there, and then uh, you know you can just adjust these however you need these compression straps to accommodate your gear. But let's just let these out all the way. And you can see just how expandable that becomes. And everything's tied together really nice. I'm really surprised, actually, at how well that all goes together. And then you're just basically putting, in my mind, in, my, in the center here, I'm putting my sleep system, I'm putting my, my shelter, and all that goes down in the middle. I'll have a tripod, I'll have my glass, all in there and then basically I'm just using the duffel like it's called super spike I'll just be using that for my spike out type items when I get to camp I'll zip off the super spike duffel I'll pull out the dry bag and I'll have my day kit ready to go and we'll be we'll be hunting obviously 24 hour rule in Alaska but we'll be ready to go it'll be really easy to spike out and uh, get all our gear situated. So I'm I'm really happy with this. Of course, I'll report back in end of May when I get back from Alaska. Hopefully, with some uh, blood on my hair, blood on my hands from a Alaskan brown bear. Uh, 
again, something I've dreamed about for a long time. It'll be really exciting. So uh, putting all this gear together, I think is going to work.